It's Florida versus Georgia week, and it's only right that we started off with a fight. So standing in the red corner, we have standing 5'11", 210 pounds. He's a trash-talking aficionado, fighting out of New Orleans, Louisiana, by way of University of Florida, CJ, C.D. Deuce Gardner Johnson. And in the blue corner, we have standing six foot four inches, 219 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, by way of University of Georgia, Javon Wim Is this Wims or Mims? It's Wims? Okay, with a W. Yeah, because I've never heard of this guy before. Literally never. I don't even, okay. Javon Wims! And I'm daring him out to the South Gray. It's point blank, period. Make sure y'all go vote. I think it's about time that we recognize that Chauncey Gardner Johnson is an elite trash talker. Whether that's reminding Tariq Cohen that he's vertically challenged or negatively in a saint sense, but making Michael Thomas absolutely lose his mind, punch Chauncey Gardner Johnson, and go off on Sean Payton when he finally got healthy enough to play. Or in this case, inciting a riot after snatching Javon Williams' mouthpiece. The man knows how to get under your skin like a splinter. It's that simple. So let's talk about this fight. In this fight, we've seen Janoris Jenkins covering Javon Wims. He, he got off of, the, uh, off of the route at the end of the play, and he absolutely sucker punched Chauncey Garner Johnson. He was looking the other way. You know, we looking like, what could he possibly have done to make that man that mad? Because after the sucker punch, Chauncey looked like, that's it. That's cute. What's going on here? <laughs> and, and then Wims hit him with two more, and inciting a riot after that with Janoris jumping on his back. So after thinking, what could he have done to make him that mad? Today, Wims came and told the Bears officials that he, he got spat on. I watched the video multiple times of Wims getting his mouthpiece snatched. I don't believe that to be the case. I think I didn't see it. But okay, let's go with it. Let's just go with the story for a little bit. Follow me. Mind you, I've already said I don't believe that happened, but whatever. Let's go, right? Spitting on somebody. I love trash talking as much as the next man. I love it. But spitting on somebody is way too far. It's disgusting. It's a way to show somebody that they, you don't think that they are on your level. You don't even think they're two levels below you. They're less than a person to you if, they spit, if you spit on that person. That's the ultimate sign of disrespect, especially during COVID. It's like, you want to spit on me right now? Come on now. So if Chauncey did that, he deserved to get punched in the face. But I still think Williams a sucker for sucker punching him. That's just my opinion on it, though, because if you spit on me, I'm immediately fighting right then and there. And that should be understandable. If you don't understand that, I'm sorry. That's just, that, that's just an understandable thing. You do not spit on somebody. Point blank period. You don't do it. <laughs> so, okay. This, this is the part to get me because I'm serious about spitting on somebody. Like, like I've heard people say that. It's like, nah, bro. I, I'll never, I would never spit on somebody. But if you're disrespectful enough to spit on me, it's going to be a fight immediately. I'm not going to suck or punch you. But Wims, he waited to Chauncey's back was turned on a whole nother play. And he snatched his mouthpiece. And it hit him with a sucker punch. So you tell him you got spat on and you got your mouthpiece snatched and you were just so concerned about getting even with the mouthpiece? I don't know, man. There's only a couple of appropriate ways to, re to respond to getting spat on. You either fight right then and there, and I told y'all that should be understandable. I'm not going to get mad at anybody for fighting about getting spat on. I, I'm not. You can either Odell versus Josh Norman run from 15 yards and try to take his head off, which I know is not the appropriate thing to say. It's not PC. It's not good because player safety, but player safety went out the window when you spat on me. It's that simple. I ain't worried about no player safety. I'm coming to take your head off because that's, that's the type of disrespect you gave me. Or lastly, you can wait till after the game and approach this man at the locker room and try to fight him with no, with no helmets on. But he ain't do none of that. He went for the mouthpiece first. What? It just don't add up. I watched the video. I don't think it happened. His reaction just don't add up for me. You telling me that you got spat on and you worried about a mouthpiece for a little sucker punch? You sat on the bench for a whole drive to think about how to snatch his mouthpiece and sucker punch him? That should have been a, a freaking reaction, a reflex. You spit on me, I'm punching you in the face immediately. I don't have to sit there for 10 minutes in real time. I don't know what threat it was from 5'11 to 5'21 and just think about how I'm going to hit you in the face. I'm sorry, but the video plus the reaction just does not add up for me. Chauncey Johnson ain't spit on that, man. Stop it.